So we're now the 12th of July. I've not been on the on the phone this few days, but we're back in action now. I left them into this bit of a garden here. I'm gonna clean this off. This is at the front. The lane up to the land is there, so I wanna keep this front area clean. So I'm gonna to top this now when I take them off. They've been on it for the last two days. And it was skipped on the last rotation. So I got it now on this start of the third or thereabouts. I kind of haven't counted as much days and rotations this year, but I'm just watching with my eye for full recovery and different methods. So we can see our ruby boy here. This week now, a lot of the cows are gonna be coming around again if they are to come around again. So we're into the third week of him being here. Um, this week. So I'm going to open up this fence here now and let them across the road. So I'll be back in a sec. Now we have a bit of a wire across there, but nothing this side. So I want them to go. I want them to go in there. So that'll have to. They'll have to figure it out themselves. Come on. No bother. So I have them on a little bit of a lane in here. Where they're going into now is, uh, hasn't been grazed now either on the last rotation. So there's lots and lots and lots of grass in it. Way too much, but I'm happy enough to uh, trample a lot of it down. What's the slides landing on the screen? Now here's Ruby coming. Ruby is definitely working. I've seen him at it now, so I've witnessed him. Oh, here's Maverick, Maverick's last. Come on, Maverick. Right. Very good. Come on. So basically, I'm only giving them this lane for now, up as far as there. They can go down to the river and get a drink. I think, yeah, that horsey, they'll go down for the river now. And then I'm going to put them in here. There's lovely, 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 lovely grass in here. Now it gets stronger. I did graze this um, twice already this year, but the recovery is amazing. Now over the far side there, it wasn't touched. Hang on, what? That bull was so big. Yeah, I know. Are you only seen him now. <laughs> yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. No, yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, across the way there has not been it. Now they're not going in here just yet, but I will show you on this in the next day or two. So we leave it at that for now. That's their little move across the road. So I'm sorted now. Now so far, um, the black Frisian, as I call her, where is she there at the top? She came round again, secondly, but I did witness him bull that cow, or that heifer. So I know for a fact that he's able to do the small heifers. Now here's the thing. The next lady that was due is 21 days today. Where is she? She is the small little short horn heifer. She's up the front there now as well. She is three weeks today, so it's looking good that she is the smallest heifer. And she never came around again, secondly. This lady hasn't come around either. But I'm not exactly sure when she was bullying. But she was, I think. Um, so they all have come now, even Belty Bioke here. She was bullying there yesterday. Or the day before. I'm very bad with my dates actually lately. There's a lot going on at home at the minute, so. I've been uh, concentrating on that. So where is the little red heifer? The little red heifer is there. Yeah. So she hasn't come around. So this one, yeah, this one came twice but definitely bowled the second time round. And where is she? Let's go and have a look. 
she's 21 days today so there's Ruby letting himself be known Yeah, so it's a tight bit of a lane here now. I won't leave them on it too long. The calves, as you can see, are gone through already. So I will tidy up what have not been. I'll tidy up where they have been and get set up then for uh, the next move. Yeah, so that's it. I'll be back. Okay, so we're still on the 12th of July. And I am back here now in the evening. It's going to six o'clock. And I have decided, as I was saying earlier, that this has had lots of rest. It got a lot of uh, a lot of rotations last year. This was my priority paddock last year. So I was coming back to this place as soon as it was fully recovered every time last year. Now, I obviously, I've skipped this... Um, I've skipped once this year so far and the far side several times so but what I'm going to do here now is um, I'm going to go all high density for the crack just for the fun of it I'm after giving them a really small area here now so it's literally just from here and to there is that it there yeah so basically I've given them half of what I would normally give them uh, for a full day. Normally I go down, where's my stick? Hang on, they back up. I can point better. So I could get a full day out of here. So I'm about to give them half. And what I'm gonna do is now, because I have my full fence down along here, this whole section here, I'm gonna go one half full, half full. I'm gonna get two days out of this length here and I'm going to go twice a day moves just for the crack of it to see what kind of uh, effect I can have on the ground here now there's a few rushes that are way back down from where they were originally and especially from last year and um, so I'm going to graze it off fairly tight and give them this side first thing in the morning so they're on the lane for a half a day so I'm going to take them off it now I wouldn't let them sleep there for the night well, I'm going to call them up um, and see how we get on. Now we can see Maverick is after going in here already, the little shit. She tends to do that down here, more so than any other place. She's not really afraid of that fence there. I'm going to open up here now and let them in, so I'll be back in a sec. I'm going to call them up now and I'm going to put another fence across here and keep them off the lane as far as that tree there and allow them access to the river. So as I say, it's gonna be a small little area, but they still have this bit of room here, so they won't be totally on top of each other. But if they come up here now, it'd be great. They're obviously not hungry. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Belty Moor and Belty Bjog out in front. Come on. So the three Galloways are in front. Ruby himself, taking it nice and relaxed. I have a feeling now he'll be passed out. There you go, he's stopping up already. Come on, girls. So today isn't as bad of a day. We've been having massive thundery downpours. Yesterday was unmerciful. We had continuous thundery downpours all day long, and a lot of places are flooded. But um, it's getting away quick anyhow. Come on. Come on. I have a gate behind me now in case I have to do any kind of mad panic moves. But I don't expect I will have to. As you can see, as I thought, Maverick is pushing back down the line. He's never too uh, anxious. Come on. So it'll be interesting to see them in this little tight area now. I put plenty of pegs up to keep them in. But should the cast will do their own thing anyhow, they'll have the run of the whole field. Come on. Come on. I'll stay quiet now for a minute. Come 
Come on. Almost. Come on. Come on, Ruby. You'll be grand. That's the boy. Lots of grass for you. Now, one thing I have noticed, as I was saying earlier, um, all the cows have cycled once. I haven't witnessed them breed any of the cows bar this lady here. But the massive difference I have noticed is that this time last week, they were almost all coming into heat, more or less on top of each other, and they were all crowding out the bowl. But this week, which is a good sign, they're not that interested in them, and they're not hanging around them. So is that a good sign? I hope it is. I hope it is. There seems to be less panic with the cows around them. They were literally queuing up. Come on. So does that say they're all settled? I'm hoping it does. Come on, come on. All the calves are last. Here's a heifer now I'm very fond of. She is growing really well. Hard to believe she's a short horn. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's it, the fourth calf turns back. Now, if I walk down here, it might come up. Come on. Out of the way. Come on, calves. Look at the difference in the two galloways. Massive difference. Belty Bjog is that bit small. Our calf is tiny still. Or, or this would be what? Her aunt. There are two heifers. She's probably taking the size after the short horn. Come on. Now last. A Frisian bowl. <laughs> that's the boy. Now that's all the calves in. Maverick will have to do her own thing. I'll leave her there. I might hunt her out myself actually after this. But if this is the carry on. Come on in there, Bell. Come on, get in. So this is how tight they'll be now for the evening. Just for one evening. I'm about to take out the quad because they'll steal my key. So I'll leave it at that and I'll come back in the morning and see how we are and we'll keep them moving. So for now I will say on the 12th of July, Good luck and goodbye.